Dry drowning occurs when a small amount of water irritates the vocal cords, causing them to spasm and close the airway. It usually happens soon after exiting the water and makes it difficult for air to pass into the lungs. Secondary drowning occurs when water enters the lungs and causes a condition known as pulmonary edema, which is the buildup of fluid in the air sacs. It can take up to 24 hours before someone shows signs of distress due to secondary drowning. High-speed submersion in water or diving can cause a reaction called laryngospasm. Dry drowning and secondary drowning account for about 2% of drowning incidents.